9th October to 4th of February next year, Jupiter will be retrograde. As you know, I've already made the video for every ascendant. So 119 days. So if you have not watched the video, then please watch it. Uh, it will be there in the comment section. I will pin it. And today's topic is remedies. What are some remedies which you can do? Now the question is, when should you do the remedies? Should you do it now or when the retrograde starts? Well, you can start doing them now because there's not much time left for the retrograde. So if you do it now, it's better. And you know, like retrograde periods are intense periods. Mostly they are negative periods. Negative in the sense, not that bad things happen, but you might have to redo and you know, there's like extra effort which is required. So in that sense, it sucks away a lot of your time. Okay. And as you know, Jupiter, Saturn are the slowest moving planets and they go retrograde like, you know, quite, quite uh, for a long time, right? <clears throat> so therefore, uh, yeah, either it's Jupiter or Saturn, you know, no, the retrograde periods are very long. Okay? So therefore, if you can do the remedies, they are, they, are, they are essential for your growth. Okay, so now the first remedy that you can do is you can chant the mantra Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. This is very important because this is the mantra for Vamandev, which is the Vishnu Avatara that represents Jupiter. So if you do this, that's fantastic. So take a mala, take a beads and chant 108 times, okay? Very, very, very important. And uh, if uh, somebody is from the West and they don't understand the mantra, then I will also write it down in the comments, all right? Now, this is most crucial. Then uh, the second remedy you must do is to chant the Vishnu Sasanam. So I have videos on the Vishnu Sasanam. I will not speak much on it now because it will take a long time. So... Please go uh, to the search bar and type Exotic Astrology Vishnu Sastranam. You will see the playlist and you can go through at least a couple of videos from there and you will understand why it's important. Okay. So after the Vishnu Sastranam, it's very important that you also do some fasting on the upcoming Fridays, you know, till February. So every Friday, if you can fast. So uh, you don't have to fast like uh, complete. So, for example, you know, you, you can do the best fasting is uh, Wednesday dinner, you eat and then you directly eat Friday morning, okay? So, this is almost like a 36-hour fast, nothing in, no food, no water on Thursdays. That's like best case. If you can't, then drink water on Thursday. If that also you can't, then you take Ekadashi food on that day, you no know, Thursday. Ekadashi food means food without uh, onion, garlic, non-veg meat, fish, eggs, and without grains specifically, okay? So you can search for Ekadashi menu. You will find a lot of recipes in YouTube. So that is something you can do. And if that also you can't, then uh, you should, uh, yeah, you should, uh, you can take normal grains, uh, but try to avoid meat, uh, fish, and eggs on Thursday. And also try to skip the breakfast and at least uh, fast till 12, okay? So depending on your situation and your bodily needs, you can do or uh, consult your doctor, please, before you take a decision, okay? Because I don't want that I say something you and you do it and uh, life gets difficult for you. Number four, try to feed some uh, Brahmin or some great personality, some sadhu who is, you know, involved in doing a lot of spiritual practices in nearby your place. The person could be a Grihastha, married or a Brahmachari, like a celibate or a sannyasi. Or a mala prasa, does not matter, but uh, try to serve them or try to help them in any way, you know, financially or by giving them food or, you know, in anything, helping them in any way that they require help from you or, or from anybody else. So if you can do that, then that will be a great math seva. Okay, so uh, Rishabh Dev says this to Bharat Maharaj, right? Mahat seva, now, that shloka I have quoted recently in the uh, video where I have spoken about Pitrupaks, right? In the fifth canto of Shiva Bhagavatam, that serving great personalities opens up the door for moksha, mukti, liberation, right? So therefore, if you get a chance, don't forget them, don't, don't forget to invite them to your house, okay, for a meal. And please don't put non-veg or onion garlic in the food, all right? Number five, you can donate ghee. To any Vishnu or Krishna or Ram temple on Thursdays because ghee is used for yagyas and other things. So donating ghee is extremely auspicious. So if you can do that, then 
and some places, you know, there are yagyas going like, you know, for Narsimha Dev. If you have a Narsimha temple near you, <coughs> now every once a week, you know, they do yagya. Some places they might do it every day. So there, if you can donate, you know, and you can also attend the yagya, even if there are no yagyas, you can still donate the ghee or or anything. You can also donate haldi. Okay, that that will also work. Okay, so do depending on your capacity. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to shell out a lot of money if you don't have. But yeah, do as per your capacity. Even if you can donate a small, you know, 100 grams, 200 grams, that will also work, okay? And best if you can donate every Thursday. If you can't, then at least do it once, okay? If you can. Number six, try to do uh, some go seva, like, you know, cow protection. So if there is a cow shed, go shala is there. Try to go and donate some money or, you know, feed the cows. You know, that's a great service you can do. Uh, you will attain many pious credits by doing this. And also your Jupiter will improve if you do this. Because as per the scriptures, you know, cow is uh, where all the devotas reside, including Lord Vishnu himself. So therefore, if you do go seva, especially during these uh, turbulent periods, it will actually help you uh, in many ways. Number seven. In your original horoscope, whichever sign Jupiter is placed in, okay, not not in transit, not in this transit, not during this retrograde, in your original birth chart, in your D1, where is Jupiter? So, depending on the sign, uh, you should you can do worship related to that Vishnu avatar, okay. So, for example, if Jupiter is in Martian signs like uh, Aries or Scorpio, then you can worship Lord Narsimha Dev. If Jupiter is in Leo, then you can worship Lord Ram. If Jupiter is in Cancer, you can worship Krishna, right? So, therefore, you know, you know the nine planets and the avatars associated, Vishnu avatars associated with that planet. So, you can do some worship, okay? So, if your Jupiter is in Leo, you can go to the Ram temple on Thursdays. You can do some worship, some puja, archana, you can donate ghee, you can do yagya, all these things you can do, okay? That will also help you uh, a great deal. Number eight. In the morning, every day, you can take turmeric and water, haldi and water. Uh, and in the night, you can take haldi and milk. Okay, uh, that's done in many parts of India. So if you do this, uh, haldi, as you know, is signified by Jupiter and it's extremely auspicious. It's very good for your body, for the liver, for the mind and for your overall uh, system also. So if you do this, uh, then you will be phenomenally benefited. Okay? Your intelligence will be sharp, you will have good sleep and your digestion will improve and uh, you will be able to function much better. Okay? So try two times morning and night. Of course, consult with your doctor. Uh, if required, no, don't just do it because I said, all right, disclaimer. Number nine, you have to do proper meditation and sadhana intensely. So during these periods, your mind can be very confused, you know. And when Jupiter goes retrograde, there is confusion about your morality, like what you should do, what you should not do. So if you have these kind of confusions, uh, then it's imperative that you uh, try to do your sadhana much more intensely, you know. So fast intensely, chant more mantras, read the Srimad Bhagavatam, read the Bhagavad Gita, read the Ramayana, read the Mahabharata. So read about Vaman Dev, you know, Vaman Dev is there in the 8th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Yes, correct, Bali Maharaj. So read about the pastime of Bali Maharaj and Babandev, how he took things from Bali Maharaj and how did he give back a lot, okay? So, you know, if you do your sadhana more intensely, so you should increase your quantity and quality, okay? Both has to go up, okay? And last but not the least, number 10, you can go to some holy place, some dham near you. So if you are in India, we have the Char Dham, you can go there or, you know, any place uh, where there are uh, strong, powerful spiritual vibrations and the God had performed Leelas there, okay? So, if you are in UP, you can go to Vrindavan, you can go to Ayodhya, you can go to Banaras, okay? Anywhere, you know, India is full of holy places, so you don't have to uh, go to a place which is like, uh, uh, like, <laughs> 5,000 kilometers your place, from your place, okay? Uh, you can go to your nearby place, but go to some prominent dham, okay? It might need uh, a day or two of traveling, uh, but you should do it, in my opinion, okay? If you can, and the same thing, while you go there, just don't go and eat uh, puri sabji and come back, <laughs> okay? 
go there, chant this mantra, uh, read Vishnu Sastanam, uh, then serve the sadhus there, give donation to also all these nine things you can do by going into the holy dham. That will exponentially increase your spiritual powers. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your patience. If you enjoyed this video and found some value, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And for personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Take care.